Some eyesores have returned to the area. Chances are, if you were at Milwaukee's lakefront over the weekend, you saw it. WISN 12 News Mike Anderson is there live tonight, and Mike, vandals are back with their spray cans. Well, Kathy, the tennis court screens are back up this evening after being removed this morning after taggers littered them with graffiti. It is a constant problem the city struggles with, but can't seem to do much to stop it. First thing Tuesday morning, a Milwaukee County Parks crew rolls onto the lakefront tennis courts to cut down and haul away somebody's mess. They were getting rid of damage done by vandals overnight. It's not very appreciated. We're, we're upset about it. Parks Director John Dargle is calling for the heads of the violators. He says because it's costing the taxpayers time and money. Well, it can get into thousands of hours of, of cleanup, and, and, um, and then it could be thousands of dollars to replace, repair. Workers had to undo damage at three other county parks' hot spots as well. Tagging is a familiar presence along the break wall by the lake, but when it hit the tennis courts, every passerby noticed. And vandals were at work on the south side, too. Anyone driving by here sees this, it gives them the wrong impression of the neighborhood. Milwaukee Alderman Bob Donovan showed 12 News the bus stop at 27th and Lapham, which was sprayed with new graffiti. We've seen graffiti go up and down. Sometimes you can go for months and you don't see a lot. Other times it just explodes. Donovan says the reality is that police are rarely able to catch anyone. Quick jump out of their car. Uh, do their damage, jump back in. You know, you can't somehow police that. But Donovan says the city has created a program called Operation Payback, where some people who have been arrested for tagging were sent out to remove the damage. Live along Lincoln Memorial Drive, Mike Anderson, WISN 12 News.